What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys <laughs> about people doing crazy shit. Now, I gotta say, I've known for a long time that certain games have, have the ability to pull you kind of out of reality and place you in a fantasy fiction environment. And a lot of times people have issues with that blurred line to the point where you lose very important assets in your life. You might lose friends, you might lose income. And one of the biggest games and names in gaming that's known to do this is Bethesda. Bethesda Softworks uh, has this way of creating a game, putting it out there, and really screwing up people's lives. Now, this has never happened to me. I never got into any game enough to uh, really step away from my real life responsibilities, my wife, my kids, my employment. None of that has ever been placed in jeopardy because of a video game, but unfortunately, Everybody isn't like me, and some people allow these games to really, really screw with their lives. When The Elder Scrolls Oblivion came out many, many years ago, a lot of people lost their jobs because of that game. A lot of people. It was all over the news. The people weren't going into work. They were staying at home to play this game. They felt like the world was just so amazing they couldn't pull themselves away from the TV. And unfortunately, Fallout 4 has done that to someone in Russia. I'll drop a link in the description. A man is suing Bethesda after losing wife and job to Fallout 4 addiction. A Russian man is reportedly suing Bethesda Game Studios, the development team behind Fallout 4 after he lost his job and wife as a result of playing the game for three weeks straight. The unnamed 28-year-old man from, I can't say that, in Siberia wants 500,000 rubles in compensation because he did not know the game would, quote, become so addictive, end quote. He claims he repeatedly skipped work, which led to him being fired, and his wife left him. He says he also suffered health issues due to lack of sleep. According to RT, which is Russia Today, a statement from the man read, quote, If I knew this game could have been become so addictive, I would have been a lot more wary of it. I would not have bought it, or I would have left it until I was on a holiday or until New Year's holidays, end quote. So, it says Russia has never before seen such a case. Uh... This is stupid, this guy here. Um, you can't fault anybody but yourself for allowing this game to basically take over your life, pulling you away from your wife and your job. I mean, you can't sit back and play games if you don't have money to support your habit. So you're just stupid in general. I know you don't understand English, and if I could speak Russian, I would be telling you. What you did was totally foolish. I know that, guys, I know. I know, nobody's perfect. I know there's tons of games out there that do have the ability to pull you in. I know for the most part, the, the type of games that really, really get a hold on people's lives and kind of hold you at ransom are MMOs. In a world of Warcraft, people have lost, thousands of people have lost assets, jobs, friends, relationships because of World of Warcraft. Um, and, uh, you know, these Bethesda games have kind of the same ability to kind of make you forget about anything that does, does not exist within that game world. And so that's why a lot of people kind of take their time with it. I'm taking my time with it. Actually, as I make this video, my wife is playing Fallout 4 now. You know, we were on vacation. She didn't touch it. Now she's playing it now. I guess she's taking her time too. You guys let me know in the comment section, have you ever played a game that made you kind of forget about reality or responsibilities? Let me know what the name of that game was in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the Beastly Gamer channel. It's 2016. Let's get that support way up there. If you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.